Alright, we seriously do not have a whole lot of, like, good ship mods, do we? That kind of sucks. Hopefully we can find a workshop with some actually good, uh, ship mods to work with. I should probably also go down to the vaults. Let's, let's go do a little bit of management stuff. Go fight that prime down on, um... Valus? V Valus? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Check weapons. We've got more of these. We've always got more of these. Oh. I'll keep fusing them. Eventually, we're gonna have a bunch of, like, really high-end stuff just everywhere. But yeah, I, I really wish it only tell me about, uh, new mods if it's actually something I, I hadn't seen before. Because all of these, like... You have a new energy amplifier, a common mod, and it's like, no, 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 just, just put that into the, uh, just boil that down and upgrade it into the next type. I don't, I don't really care about anything else. Okay, so we're done with that. Right, skill point. That's the other thing. Uh, let's see, skills. I have one skill point. I could increase damage when I'm, I've got my ability going. I could increase my... Wingmate's extra damage, I can increase our basic energy, or let's save up for energy. Uh, let's save up for energy. Okay. So we want to go down in here. Water, you got the deluxe game, right? Oh, of course. Oh, right. We've got a couple of things I still want to do on this planet. I want to get all the, uh, queer... I, I want to get all the anchors. I'd like to visit, uh, that area for the, the catalog. Where is Big Bad McGillicuddy? I guess really I should just get on the planet first, and then we'll deal with the rest. Uh, where is it? I have a I have two spires. Where are they? What did I do? There it is. Okay, let's warp over here. But yeah, I, I bought the deluxe, uh, the deluxe game. Anyway, so did I accidentally skip the cutscene before, hence the video. Sort of. So I was I was grinding earlier today, getting a bunch of you know, foundries and upgrading them to max and so on and so forth. And I just flew past the Equinox by sheer chance and the cutscene just triggered and I was just like, oh no, oh no, what do I do about this? I can't, ah, panic, panic moment. Okay. It was inconvenient to say the least. And so, uh, so, luckily I had OBS open from the night before, so it's just like, alright, well, you know what, baseline, this is, this is fine, this is easily fixable. I just hit the recording, uh, the re recording button, like, honestly, for everybody that's watching this on YouTube, you're not even gonna notice, apart from me talking about it after the fact. Um, but, uh, so, I think I missed, like, ten seconds of the initial cutscene, which was, like, Hunter maybe saying something and, like, some people walking by. Not exactly what I would call, like, that big. Just record the grinding in case something happens. Yeah, I didn't even think about it until now. I'll definitely do that in the future. Weapons oh. having no effect. Right. Huh. My research suggests these spires react to different elements. Try switching up your weapons. Oh. That fire? Oh, it is fire. Oh, right, because these can't be balanced for any other elements. Because uh, you don't get a stasis, a stasis or a, a vortex weapon if you buy the standard edition, so they couldn't make any of these. Spire deploys a kind of magnetic shield. I suspect it has something to do with protecting Vilas's atmosphere. Okay, so let's let's just get a couple of these things down. We do have the prime, but honestly, I might use this opportunity. We should kill that prime. It, it's just if the uh, prime drops a couple extractors, that'll be fine. I'm actually surprisingly low on Nova. It'd be nice if there's a way to just auto generate Nova, Warning. but whatever. Atmospheric corruption detected. Flight engines are affected. Flight engines don't give a shit. Proximity alert. Extractor detected. Power rating low. You better bring it down. 
or our allies would be in serious danger. Nice okay, there we go. There we go. Damage. Whoops. Kind of damage. One of these guns has a lot more capacity than the others. Target the main structure. It's go time, boys. About time. Ho 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 ho! Whoa! That thing melted in no time flat. Okay. Sure. Extractor destroyed. Let's see, so is it gonna just be this for the entire night? I'm gonna be playing a bunch of it. I do enjoy this game. Okay, do we go after this? Eh, nah, we're right here. If it plunks down another extractor, that just works better in my favor. Our expedition allies have delivered a shipment of enhancements. Let's see. Uh, command, command post gamma. Seeing as you're hanging out in chat and you seem to know this better, are there reasonably good sources of? Um, oh, we're gonna need the stasis missile for this one. Are there reasonably good sources of um, of Nova later in the game, or should I just kind of farm what I got now? Whoa, whoa. Okay. Should probably switch to the the anti grav. What are you built for? You are not built for a gosh darn thing. Okay, tank core? Gravity. Gravity. Do we have more gravity? We do have more gravity. Not great, though. Fine, I'll live without. Uh... Extra energy might not be a bad move. I guess I'll just do elemental research for uh, resistance. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, oh, the shredder. That's not what I want. What I also want to do is mod the levitator. Switch that out for this thing. Double that damage, double that fire rate, reduce that energy cost. Should probably actually see about reducing the energy cost some more. It's the battery. This one. Because ideally, if I can actually get it to fire a little bit more consistently, that'll help a lot. Yep, oh boy. Now I can fire this thing several times before it runs out of juice. Oh, that makes it dangerous. See, wonder what are the gold mods? They are. We're about to go get one, I think. Reminder: corrupted Nova samples like this are a valuable resource. It will fetch a high price at any outpost. So, uh, orange mods are like the legendary max level ones. Gold mods are warden mods. Starlink database updated. They're they're rare, and they're fancy. Okay, so we've already grabbed that one. Uh, let's see. Go for the uh, Crash Drake. And these don't. Oh, they do give me Nova. Okay, let's just farm a bit of Nova while we're here because we ran out. Uh, so, Warden mods are rare, one of a kind mods. You can use them for kind of a variety of things. Uh, you know, they're not all just weapons, some of them are for ships, I think. Remain nearby to maintain connection. Nice try. Okay, I should uh, switch the levitator back for this. Caution. Legion forces on arrival. Wow. That ice burst shot weapon is crazy strong. But yeah, so effectively the warden warden things are like artifact uh, artifact mods better than most. 
Uh, and you can only get more of them by, uh, by duplicating them, which is extremely expensive. And generally, it's probably not worth, uh, worth doing. Kinda. I don't know. Some of them are probably incredibly strong, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, well, we're right here. Grab this one. Frontier data array located. Hacking it may provide useful information. Okay, decode. And same deal as usual. Oh. You came to the wrong place. That was. Got no choice but to take you down. When in doubt, summon friends. We got a fresh one. Let's get him. Starbox, form up on me. I would dig it if there was like a uh, some kind of special uh, circumstance where you summon the whole team. Those losers won't be back anytime soon. Good work. That'd be really satisfying. Wait, did Slippy just peace? What have you done yet? You useless toad! You're not even a toad. You're a frog. I think. The wrong place, pal. Is it Slippy the Frog or it's Slippy the Toad? I I'd swear. All right, whatever. Yeah, you're going down. Hack successful. Access granted. Data transmission complete. Analyzing sensor array data stream now. Okay. I knew a prospector on Vilus that built his claim next to a strange, festering, foul place. Said there were rare, valuable minerals in there. That boy wasn't right in his head. Alright, so I think this thing's plonked down in another extractor. I think that's probably fine. Uh, let's go over to this so I, ha I have a place to drop this off. I'll put down another workshop, probably. Only way to farm Nova is the extractors. And people are getting gatekept by a lack of Nova. Yeah. So it's like mildly tempting to just leave the primes. Okay, so we want to do workshop. This workshop's open for business. Fresh tech coming your way. Looking to sell some of those cores you're carrying? Fly over here. We'll deal. Oh, I can sell cores. Interesting. I'm not interested. Welcome back. Been a while. Thought some critter might have got you. Okay, then. We'll get right to work repairing your fleet. Oh, this stuff makes for great elemental shields. Here, let me power you up. I mean, realistically, I could probably get quite a lot of Nova just by completing all of the objectives that we've got. But yeah, the, uh... Hey, nice trinket. No need for it here, though. Try another outpost. I wonder if each of these planets has a different, uh... If each, each of these planets has a different, um... Like, legendary mod that they sell. Yeah, try to sell a core. Yeah, I could. I should. Next time we're near one, remind me. I know I just left one. But I don't want to turn around. I also, like, have no interest in selling most of my mods. Okay. So it's red. We want to do Y, and then that, U, I have no idea if there's like a visible time limit on that one or it's just kind of inconvenient. I don't really know. This data confirms my hypothesis. The confluence of life on Vilus is no accident. This spire fed Electrum right into the soil itself which encourages rapid animal and plant growth. 
Let's see, did Wander check his new mod yet? Nope, haven't. Probably should. Mod weapon. So it's, uh... It might be a ship. Ah, there it is. Handling speed, precision shots, charge boost. Oh, right. I should probably switch away from the Neptune. Back to this. Okay. EXP earned with she ship. I think we'll switch this one out. So handling speed and precision shots, charge boost. That sounds fun. So speed handling versus double jump in midair. That's kind of fun. Okay, what else do we have? I was heading over this this way, and yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave the extractors on the map, or the. I think I might just leave that prime alone and just go after the extractors. Frontier data array located. Hacking it may provide useful information. Because it'll be a lot easier if I just have a, a reasonable source of of uh, Nova. I'm sure you do. I got you in my sights, Dirt Hog. <laughs> you like dirt that? Hog? What kind of insulting name is that? Oh, I didn't kill him. Maybe I did, I'm not entirely on sure. Fire. Only one way to deal with those morons. Kick him back into space. You did good. Just gonna pick some of these up and uh friend Warm up on you. This is Peppy. All systems go. You came to the wrong place, pal. Got no choice but to take you down. Those losers won't be back anytime soon. Good work. Pack is successful. Access granted. Data transmission complete. Analyzing sensor array data stream now. The awakening destroyed everyone and everything in Atlas. At least with Lyalas, not as many folks fell. Weren't that many folks here to begin with. Okay, so we have two of these things. Crash Drake. And yeah, we might as well do the Drake along the way. Uh, right now, I want to hoard, hoard a bunch of Nova. Because we're pretty close to, um... We're pretty close to maxing out the Volcano. You know... Let's go back a second. Let's mod, let's mod the Volcano. What do we got here? Switch from Heat Damage. Let's get, um... EXP mods on the volcano make it go faster because yeah I'd, I'd really like to I'd really like to make some headway on um Warning. on some of the other Atmosphere upgrades that I haven't actually had the chance to get yet Flight engines are affected. we could also switch characters at some point that would also work okay decode you established Breaching Legion data core. Remain nearby to maintain connection. Legion device identified. Initiate hacking procedure. Be advised, procedure has a high probability of attracting Legion reinforcements. No, duh! How many of these do you think I've done? Hey, knock it off. That's one thing I don't like about these games sometimes. It's just like, hey, by the way, uh, here's a here's a thing that, you know you probably should already know about it as you've already done it. But I'm going to tell you about it every single time you get here anyway. Legion incoming. Legion incoming. Yeah, I'm shooting them. And it's like, I know it's supposed to be for like immersion's sake or something. Maybe? But it always just feels kind of weird. Warning. Legion reinforcements incoming. Let's see. There we go. Legion data received and processed.
Holy crap, that is a big sucker. I think we've already recharged my... I think we've already completely recharged. Yep. Oh, that's helpful. That's the right weapon for the job. Keep firing. Warning. The enemy is resistant to heat weaponry. It's go time, boys. Falco here. I got you covered. <laughs> that is ridiculously strong. Let's see. So, can you do an aileron aileron roll? Yes. You absolutely can in this game. Reminder, corrupted Nova samples like this are a valuable resource. I already know that one. It will fetch a high price at any outpost. Honestly, I'm just gonna drop it. We don't have we don't have a a place to drop it off. Not easily anyway. Belko OP. Yeah. If it weren't for increasing the duration that they'll stick around for. I would absolutely start investing in that that initial salvo uh, upgrade. Because that initial salvo is incredibly strong. Because, like, I could potentially use that to one-shot almost everything if I wanted to. The data coming from this spire suggests it was involved with the formation of Violus. Hmm. But did they create the Urspor, or did it mutate from something else that arrived there centuries ago? Imp swarm detected. Ugh, they're a real problem. We should clear them out. Scans look clear. You left those imps behind. What? Okay. That's confusing. I noticed this planet is incredibly good for farming stuff like minerals and stuff. I, I guess they realized you needed to have a planet at some point uh, so that you could max everything out. Well, I probably shouldn't spend too much time on this, though. Regardless of, like, the convenience of how close all of these are. Okay. Let's see. So, he has he put down any more? Yep. Yeah, so effectively, you can just follow the, uh, the prime around. And it will continuously just dump... Uh, it'll just continuously just dump extractors down on on you forever. But yeah, aileron roll, wee. Hey, that's a nice ship. I think I'll take it. Starbox, form up on me. Happy here. I'm on approach. Boom! Take that. I think everything just cold. blew up. Only one way to deal with those morons. Kick him back into space. You did good. I think Peppy got frosted there. Yeah, he did. Holy crap, I do damage. Thousands of damage per shot. Whoa! Oh, it's up here. I was a Haven prospector, but I remember stories about Violus's infamous food shortage. When folks get hungry, they can do desperate, despicable things. Everything explodes. Bye, Pepe. I had a roommate, uh, whose nickname was Peppy. Liked him. He was a cool guy. I wonder what he's up to. I like that double jump. Okay, so we were going... I think I've actually got it marked. Yeah, I've still got it marked. Uh, 
Okay, so let's get over here. Let's keep taking out a couple of these extractors, and then let's go fight that Dreadnought. Because the Prime here, I'm just going to leave alive. It'll, it'll do what it does. Just continuously feed us Nova. You have an hour before you just deploy another Prime. And honestly, like, I wouldn't mind another Prime, but if I just leave this world to just get buried under the occasional uh, extractor, I think it'll be okay. Build armories from 0% alliance on any planet. Workshops. Legion vision. Reduced outpost costs. Double mod research rate in Atlas. And we don't know about either of these, unfortunately. Ally level plus 10 on all planets. Interesting. We don't know about that one yet. So the mod research rate one might be worth it. It might be worth going back to, to Necrom at some point. And you to a lesser degree. I don't entirely know what Legion Vision does. Let's see. How many? I got some. So I could get structural analysis. So more mods from Frontier Runes, Shipwrecks, and Warden Spires. Better rewards when delivering items. So that's the one I want to get. And who is that other character? I do not recognize that one. I wonder if there's other characters to grab. I probably do. Okay, how long until the volcano is done? Very soon. Quest. One quest, maybe two. And at that point, I might actually want to switch characters? Uh, if you switch back to the ostensibly main character looking guy, uh, he has a, uh, he has a perk that you can get when he's at level 7 or 8 that just gives all characters a plus 50% EXP boost, which, yeah, I should get. And then it goes up to, uh, even higher than that. We. I just really like Star Fox. Atmospheric corruption detected. Flight engines are affected. Proximity alert. Extractor detected. Power rating low. We've got to keep our allies safe from these things. Bring it down. Oh, is it open? Extractor is vulnerable. Target the main structure. And it's dead. Man. I don't know what I've done, but my damage is stupid. I love it. Oh, we should go back and uh, find all the Warden Vaults. Extractor destroyed. That's the other thing I should probably spend a little bit of time doing. Because we might as well get all those like uh, special Warden mods while we're here. Because at this point, I could reasonably, I, I can reasonably fight those bosses. Had a whole lot of limitations. Where's the other? Oh. Did these guys destroy an extractor for me? I hate it when they do that. Yeah, so it actually looks like uh, the planetary defenses are so high. Oh. I hope they don't kill the Prime. It'd be unfortunate if they did. Oh well, I'm gonna cross my fingers that they won't destroy the Prime. So what do we do for a second? Have I... I did the vault on this planet. Be kind of nice if there's just like a, a list that you can pull up. It's like, have I done blank? Yeah, I've already done the wonder. Okay, so that actually, that makes this easier. Have I done the wonder on this one? Yes. Have I done the wonder here? Yes. Have I done the wonder here? No. There's actually a number of things I haven't done on this planet. Okay, there's the wonder. There's a spire. Let's get on here. So let's go over to this one for a second. We started yesterday and we're already this far into the game. I have to say it's rather fast paced. Feels like we're mid-game already. Uh, yeah, I've just been playing this game a lot. 
It's really fun. Let's see, the Dreadnought's gonna deploy Prime, but where to? Does the map show Wander? I think they're gonna... I think it's gonna be deployed to the planet I was just on. I could be wrong. Let's pull up the map for a second. I have no idea. Unfortunately, it says it'll be deployed in an hour. So the... Oh, right. One of these straight up still has... No, never mind. I was gonna say one of these still has a, uh, has a prime on it, other than this one, but no. I was wrong. So, we are looking for... The Spire? There's the Spire. And then the wonders over here. Okay, there we go. So does the hour happen even when the game is off? I have no idea. I'm assuming no. I could just leave the game on. That would be the easiest possible solution. The smoke trail is coming from the ship, showing some sort of connection. It may show where it's targeting. Or where it's going. It'd be smart to take it down and put up a friendly outpost there instead. What kind of weird landing was that? Whoa, you're unstoppable with that weapon. You gotta teach the rest of us how you mastered it. Ready to go. Weapon familiarity improved. All right. Do we want to just build another workshop? Probably. Workshop construction complete. Because yeah, I, I effectively just want to jam workshops on each one of these planets, as many as I can. And like, imagine if I got Looking like. Looking to sell some of those cores you're carrying. Fly over. Hello again. Still out there saving the world. Imagine if I could just sell 10 of these. 20% damage. I think I already have the Alliance Amplifier. I don't think it's actually that good. And the, yeah, upgrading this is too expensive. But... The we can get it up there. Is wrapping up. Come see the new mods we have to offer. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, if I could get like 10 of these going, that's 20 mods per hour. Especially if they're purple. Oh... Thanks, but no thanks, friend. Try a different outpost. Like, that would be stupidly helpful. Okay. So. Change loadout. So all these characters level 5 now. So that's good. I was really hoping they'd master the whole weapon, not just get a level in it. Well... It's going to be a while before we level up the R-Wing. Or any of these. Yeah, let's let's change characters. We we need to be Mason Rana for a bit. Okay. So the reason why we want to be Mason Rana, pretty basic. Quick learner, Mason's inquisitive nature helps all pilots in your collection level up faster. So 50% EXP gain, 100% EXP gain. Problem is, 6 skill points, so I've got to get... to... Ah! i got to get... how many levels? I need, I need to spend 2 more just to even unlock it, and then 4 more. Okay, so we got to be level 11. To, to max this out. It'll be worth it, but sucks. Let's see. D-pack waves amplify the damage dealt by the orbital strike. Well, let's get ability charge speed first, and then that one. Let's just see if I can build him as some kind of crazy nuker type character. And yeah, so he only gets one star in each of these, which I'm actually a little bit disappointed about, because it would have been so much cooler uh, if 
if you could actually just carry the progress over between characters. Anyway, so this also unlocks all of these. Okay, so that's more mods. But I want better rewards when delivering stuff. Let's go! Because that should maybe, hopefully, make it level up faster. What if this character has its own separate story quest? Or if it's just like uh, the main story plus like whatever. My controls. I can't move. Star Fox. I don't know. Well, in this case, yeah, leveling weapons gets your character skill points, I believe. Yes, that's exactly how it works. So the question is, oh, okay, so we probably want to rethink this. I've been doing this the really slow way. Let's do this the faster way. So leveling everything up once is much, much faster than leveling it up again. Because, like, this has to go, yeah, three times as far. That's not pleasant. So if I want to level a character up quick, I got to do it this way. Okay, Shredder Mark II. Let's see, no elemental damage, not worth it. Damage and fire rate. I should probably slap on efficiency modules at this point. This gun's kind of pricey to fire. Okay, and then the Meteor... Oh. The Meteor Mark II. I guess let's quickly look at everything that we've got so it's not like, YOU HAVE A NEW THING! And it's like, yes, I'm aware. Not actually new. Okay, so what can we get? Remove that from the levitator, that's fine, so 100% damage. Increase the fire rate. Don't care about the cold damage, do care about the heat damage. I don't know about range on this thing. Let's try it. I don't even know what that's gonna do. Okay, so I only have one of those. Remove that from the volcano. We only have one of those. Okay, that could this could be kind of fun. Of course, now I immediately have to switch these out for two different guns just so I can actually take this down. <laughs> is the meteor a ramming weapon? If so, try it backwards. The spire is sending out some sort of ancient garbled signal. It's... it's wardish. Interstellar. This appears to be some sort of hub that controlled the Legion operations on Sonatus. Okay. Let's give that a go. So let's grab the Meteor. Let's grab the Shredder. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, let's see. Change loadout. Meteor. How do I flip? There we go. What? That's not... that's not flipped. What? There we go. Boop. <laughs> I don't know if that's... I... So you can do it. It's probably a dumb idea. But you can do it. 